So we can set up equations using absolute value in a problem such as this. So we have the tolerance of ball bearings used for the SkyTrain must be uh, plus minus 2 millimeters. So the diameter needed is going to be 14 millimeters. So 14 millimeters represents kind of the middle and we have our boundaries outside of that. So it's going to look like this. Okay. So if we have 14 minus x, the difference between the, the actual size and the size that we need, the maximum difference can be 2 millimeters. Okay, and there represents an equation that represents that's going to give us the smallest and greatest values of x. And we can actually write this as an inequality like this if you like. Okay? But however, really with inequalities, we're going to solve for boundaries. So we're going to solve for the equal to anyways. So there's our, my original equation. And I'm going to just solve this using an equals. I have my positive version. So 14 minus x equals 0.2. And I have my negative version when 14 minus x. Okay, when x is bigger than 14, it's going to give me a difference that is bigger than 0.2, negative 0.2. So solving both sides of this, x is equal to 13.8. When I solve for x, here x is going to be equal to 14.2. So then my limits are going to be between 13.8 is my lower bound. Okay, and it needs to be greater than or equal to that. And then my upper bound is going to be 14.2, so it needs to be less than or equal to 14.2. Now, if you want to keep track of the inequality, okay, we can, when we do this inequality, we should keep the, the, the negative version, so the positive version should keep the inequality in the right direction. For the negative version, we should flip the inequality, so that's why it flips to the other way around. Okay, so we are going to end up with our inequality flipped for the negative version. Okay, so it would look like this. Okay, we end up with, uh, I'll do it alternatively here, 14 minus x is going to be less than or equal to 0.2. When I solve for x, I get 14.2. Uh, sorry, 13.8 here and x on this side. So that's how I get that. And if you want to do the negative version, we need to flip the inequality. Okay, and then we solve for this, we get 14.2. So x is going to be less than 14.2. So that's how I get less than x is less than 14.2 over here. Okay, now I would write, uh, because the boundaries are going to be the zeros, it is sometimes easier just to solve for the zeros and work out the inequality after the fact. All right, so here's another problem. A person is uncomfortable when the temperature difference between two rooms is greater than five degrees or lower. So write this expression, expression for this when the temperature of one room is C and the other room is H. Okay, so if the difference in temperatures, well, we don't know which one's colder and which one's hotter. So we can say H minus C, the absolute value of that must be, uh, the person is, do we want in a question of temperature in one room is C? Uh, do we want to, let's say that the person is going to be uncomfortable. So we're going to say that that is greater than or equal to C or 5. So we can then write the positive version of this. So H minus C is greater than or equal to 5. Okay? Or the negative version of this is when H minus C is less than negative 5. Okay? So if, that, if the difference is, is greater than this, we, we will have you'll be going from one room to the other and feeling a, a big difference in temperatures, which you know makes you uncomfortable, whether from lower to higher or higher to lower. 